In this workshop, we're going to look at the end of dive weight check and why it's the most important and accurate weight check for you to assess exactly what weight you need to be carrying in your side mount system. I'm going to start draining the regulator I'm not breathing from. So I open up the crack resistor, make sure the regulator is in dive or plus mode. I then move the regulator to the opposite side of my face away from the cylinder so I can clearly read the pressure gauge, making sure I don't drain more than I need. You want to then make sure you're at five or six meters. Just before we start doing the breathing exercise, we need to completely remove all the air from our BCD. The goal is to be able to hold 50% lung volume, staying still or holding at your start depth without moving up or down unless you breathe. Once you've moved up, change your lung volume to 20% and you should start to sink back down. If you then hold 50%, if I want to slow and stop, breathe in, 80% and I slowly start to rise, 50% puts me back level again. Now I want you to watch this example. The diver's BCD is empty, he's followed the correct steps, this shows me he's close, but he's about one kilo overweighted. When I'm weighting students for the first time, I always try to use some one kilo blocks, is that people forget to release all the air from the BCD. And that is one of the most critical factors. So I'm just making sure he now deflates his BCD fully. As I show in a separate workshop video on fin testing, and weight checking using a fin that is heavy or a fin that is neutral can help when it comes to fine tuning your weight just make sure you do the diver trim check correctly as well if you're going to a new place that you've not dived before and using new equipment don't make a challenging dive instead make a training dive and find your correct weighting